the physics department research faculty is composed of biological and biomedical physics, nanophysics or nanomedicine and uh, condensed matter physics, uh, particle physics and astroparticle physics, both experimental and theoretical, and we have network science uh, theory that's uh, really a, probably one of the best programs in the world. I took a bunch of core classes my freshman year and what really uh, grabbed me about physics was when I was attending the uh, Society for Physics Students meetings and hearing about all the undergraduate research that was going on, all the cool co-op opportunities that the students had had both you know, on campus, um, well also in, in Boston, but worldwide too. There were students doing international research, which I thought was really neat. Most students come here because of our well-established and successful co-op program. We take it very seriously. Because of that, uh, Northeastern invests significantly to help prepare the students for co-op and beyond. I go to the big accelerators around the world and study the interactions of particles at the highest energies available. I teach undergraduates and I also work with undergraduates in, in my research. Very few schools offer the, um, the amount of research and the availability of the research that Northeastern uh, offered to undergraduate students even at a freshman level. I have a new undergraduate working in my lab, Patrick Wong, who has been working in computational material science. We also use dynamical system theory to predict the complex behavior of materials under large forces. You know, when you come in freshman year, you hear other kids taking quantum mechanics or uh, particle physics or one of these upper level classes that seem like it's just totally unapproachable to you at that time. But, you know, the program just kind of takes you through step by step, just giving you all those building blocks of what you need. And then, you know, when it comes time to actually take these quantum mechanic classes, uh, it just sort of, you know, falls out nicely. Our nano medicine effort, which is funded by the National Science Foundation through a very large uh, training grant, uh, applies uh, nanotechnology to the key problems of modern medicine. Well, my experience here at Northeastern has been quite varied. I've had a chance to do a lot of different things. I'm working now on characterizing titanium oxide nanotubes. It's part of the main goal of the lab, working with these uh, nanotubes, finding different electrical, optical properties for more applications. We have in the undergraduate physics uh, courses called modern physics. And uh, this is sort of an introduction to uh, all the revolutions in particle physics that took place in the 20th century, uh, beginning with the discovery of quantum theory and of uh, the nucleus, and then later on the discovery of uh, quarks. So this is actually a very nice course which will excite them and to go on and, and learn more about this field and about this nature of the universe. If an undergraduate is interested in doing uh, research with me, um, there, are, there, are, there are various paths, but we have a, a biomedical physics major that the students can, can do, which prepares them, teaches them most of the physics, uh, general physics curriculum, but also prepares them for uh, for, for working in, in biological physics, they, they learn uh, some of the biological aspects of physics with specific courses. What's very nice about this place is that it's not only a diversity within the field of complex systems and network science, but it's also a diversity of cultures who are here. So, he, I mean, I was born in Brazil. Uh, we have people from Israel, China, Korea, India, Italy, the U.S., of course, and I think this is super enriching in, in, a, in a cultural sense. Being at Northeastern is the perfect place because uh, it's a campus, but it's in the city. You know, you still very much have the cohesive campus feel, but you're right in Boston. We have you know, high quality, highly motivated students who will just jump in and, and get things done. It just kind of wakes you up. It's very energetic. You know, when you see people walking around, you see teas flying by, and it's just, it's hard to be, hard to be tired. It just wakes you up and it, it's kind of like drinking a coffee. <laughs>